What's up, people? It's your boy, Big Ron, back with another episode of Ron's One Cent. Drop that coin for me. Appreciate it. Hold up, who just walking up my yard? I mean, up my road. Y'all hear my dogs going crazy, ready to eat something. Anyway, so on this episode of Ron's One Cent, we're going to be talking about a little boxing. And a lot of people, a lot of people love to talk about how boxing's born now, especially the heavyweights. How Floyd, Money Mayweather came through and just just took over. And you know, it made heavyweights born since the Tyson era. But let me tell you, man, if you start following, this one got back interesting. There's a big three. There's some there's some decent contenders or whatnot, but there's a big three in boxing that um that's really shaking it up. You got I'm, I'm gonna go belt wise. You got Anthony Joshua from the UK with multiple belts, unified champion, two time. You got Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury. Um, uh, champion, two time, undefeated. Anthony Joshua, one loss. Then you got Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. Um, he was our last champion. One defeat, one draw. So, man, there was a big mess going on. You know, if you follow it, they've been they first they were trying to get when when um Wilder had the belt, they were trying their best to push for um Wilder and Joshua to fight for unification, period, right? So, but for whatever reason, that will come into fruition. I, I don't I don't know. You know, one thing that I feel like is killing boxing is these promoters. And you know, all these people that got their hand and stuff, they're they're preventing us from getting the fights we want. Look at Mayweather and Pacquiao. That was whack. We wanted that. Two, three, four years before it happened. Then you know you wait till they're you know up in age, a little slow. It, it was whack. Give us the fights we want. But anyway, back on topic. So we we never got that fight. So Wilder graciously decided to bring Tyson Fury back from the dead. And in their first fight, it, it came out a draw. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I was wanting Wilder to win. I wanted to see that big knockout, which I got one. I got two, but one huge one. But he Tyson got up, even though I, they cheated. If you go back and count, that was 11 seconds. I counted it multiple times. It was 11 seconds. I put stopwatch on it from the time he hit the ground. So they cheated, but the ref says it was for the good of boxing. But anyway, but if you count the rounds, being fair, I think Wilder lost. If you if you want to do that point counting thing, but at the same time though, like he said, when you fighting a champ, you gotta beat the champ. So I mean, argue however you want to argue it. Wilder should have won because he should have been um, counted out. Fury should have won if you want to technically go off who won what rounds. In my opinion, I'm no expert, nope. but in my opinion, so whatever they got the draw. So I guess that's fair. But they fight again. <laughs> me and my brother, me and my brother-in-law watched it, man. And I told him though, I, it never was proven. I wish he was here for for me to ask him. You know, live. Well, it ain't gonna be live for y'all. But anyway, for me to ask him, I told him, Wilder didn't look like himself. I told him that in the beginning when he took the helmet off and all that stuff, he did not look like himself. I told him that. From, from before the first punch. But anyway, he got the bejesus. <laughs> he got the wheels beat off of him. <coughs> <coughs> he got the wheels beat off of him. And, you know, he got mad at his trainer, whoever the guy was, that threw in the towel. He got mad at him, but goodness gracious. Watching it back, watching it back, it do seem like he wasn't getting beat as bad as it looked live. But going off of the live aspect, 
is the guy did the right thing because it looked like the man was about to get murdered. Now looking back at it, he might have had a fighter's chance. He, he may have. Because he wasn't as delusional and stuff as it appeared live. Live looks worse, right? That's why a lot of times if you watch battle rap, they say, you know, they have to watch it twice. Because they'll be like, off of first watch, da 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 da. So that's why you can't be so hard on refs. You can't be so hard on judges with anything. Because off of fir first watch and second watch are different. You can get a whole nother aspect. You'll see stuff you never saw before on that second watch. But anyway, first watch, he got the bejesus beat out of him. He lost. So, we've been waiting since February of 2020 to find out what was next. Because Wilder in his contract had a um, rematch clause. That Tyson Fury was obligated to um to have or to honor for lack of a better word. He he had that cause or whatever. So Fury been trying to duck it, man. And I've been watching this stuff. And from things like, first of all, they were saying, you know, they wanted to wait on hit on Fury's side. Tyson Fury side. They wanted to wait because they knew during the pandemic, you know, you know the pandemic happened shortly after that. That they won't get the money that they that they got last time if they have it right now with no crowd limited crowd so they wanted to wait but see they were smart or at least they thought they were smart so they pushed it back now they're saying oh why do they meet his deadline i want a unification for the uk against back to anthony joshua they thought they had that thing in a the bag they man several times eddie hearns Tyson Fury himself have came out and said, it's done. We're having the match, the unification match for the UK. Cause there has not been a complete unified champion. They say for over a hundred something years, they don't consider my man's Lennox Lewis. Lennox Lewis did it, but they say, oh, well, Lennox Lewis, he also rep for Canada. He also rep for Jamaica, whatever. Tyson Fury rep different things too, but whatever, we ain't gonna get into that. You know what that is. But to go off of their words, they haven't been one for over a hundred years. So they want that fight. And they feel that that's an easy fight for Fury. They're pushing Fury. That's why they didn't want to give Wilder his rematch. All these things about glove tampering, all the pictures you've seen, you can clearly see the man knuckles through it. You ain't never seen that. You can clearly see his knuckles through it. They they ignoring all of that because they're pushing Fury. And they feel that Fury versus Wilder is more dangerous than Fury versus Joshua. So that's an easy unification for Fury. But see, Wilder fought back, and that brings me to my point. We get in our trilogy. They went into arbitration, and don't ask me what that is. That's just a word they use. Basically, they I guess it's like a lawsuit. But um, no, I'm just joking, capping. But anyway, and Wilder won. So we're getting our rematch. Think I'm I'm waiting to see it, and I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Wilder kind of ignore. He kind of annoys me in a sense, but at the same time, some of the things he speak about is true, and. I hope, man, I, I hope he get his revenge because of all the different things that happened, all the disrespect. I hope he get his revenge. And, but we're going to see, Lois Will. If I'm not mistaken, it's July 24th through September something. So somewhere in between there, we're going to get our fight. So who y'all got? Drop in the comments for this trilogy, third fight. Oh, there might be a fourth because I mean Tyson Fury might put in his contract if he lose, he want a rematch. Who knows? But for this trilogy, who you got? Why drop in the comments? Wilder or Tyson Fury? There's plenty. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you ain't a big boxing fan. There's plenty of videos. The fights are even still on YouTube. To go check it out for yourself. And like always, you know my motto: stay blessed, stay positive, have fun, peace. Don't separate it, bring it together. We out.